Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get all the URLs for a particular web page that, that you want. For example, uh, let's pretend that you are a venture capitalist, right? You invest in startups, right? So here on Berkeley Skydeck, which is a startup accelerator, you're, you see all these 600, uh, all 600 of these startups. Now you can look through each of these startups one by one by clicking through their links individually one by one, but that's gonna take way too long of a time, right? So what you can do instead is that maybe if you opened up all 600 links and then close the links one by one, it would be a lot faster. Think of it like this. If you have 600 tabs already opened up, you can just go through the tabs your uh, Google Chrome tabs one by one, and and then you can just get rid of them, right? So you start from the first tab, and then you say, okay, this startup, hmm, interesting, eh, next, and you, you close the tab, you move on to the second tab, and you look at that startup, and then you can close it, and then you move on to the third tab, you close it, the fourth tab, you close it, and so forth. So you're starting off with 600 tabs, and you're working your way through them one by one until you have zero tabs left. And this is much faster than clicking open these links individually. All right, so how do you have 600 links all opened up uh, at the same time, right? Well, there's a faster way than just clicking through all the links. What you can do is you can do inspect element and you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna be smart about this. I'm gonna look for all links that look like a certain pattern and I'm gonna open them up. Ah, oh, look, this particular link has a particular format. It is a A tag with a uh, class of company link, right? If you look over here on the, on the left side here, it says A dot company link, right? So you wanna target every single link that has a tag of A and a class of company link. So you're gonna highlight this element just by hovering over it, right? And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna open up the snippets prompt. To open up the snippets prompt, just hit Command O. On Windows, I think it's con uh, Control O, but you have to double check me on that. After you have the snippets prompt open up, just go, uh, you hit the exclamation mark and do get all hrefs. Once you have that run, you have all of the startup links inside of your um, clipboard. So here, in this Chrome extension called open multiple URLs, just paste what you have. And when you paste it, you have all of the URLs present. Now what you can do is just click extract URLs from text to get the URLs uh, formatted in a nicer way. And now you can just click open URLs to open up all the URLs. Now, if you want things to be even more smooth, what you can do is you can have this other Chrome extension installed called Clutter Free. And what Clutter Free will do is that it'll ensure that you won't have any duplicate tabs. Why is that important? Because what's the point of looking at tabs that are duplicated? The whole point up here is to be efficient. So let's see. Some of these uh, startups actually don't have a appropriate uh, website or they just never got around to building their website. You can see that the first company is called Important, the second one is called First Page, and you can see them right here. But the third uh, website is called 1S1 Energy. And you can see that it actually didn't make a website for itself. And there's a whole lot of these other uh, startups that don't have websites for themselves. So for these, you may as well just, uh, you may as well just not just close these tabs upon opening. There's no point of looking at these startups anyway, right? And you can scroll all the way down to the very bottom just to double check that all of the startups are there, right? So I'm scrolling to the very bottom and you can see that the last startup is called uh, Zhongshan Orion, right? If you scroll down the list of URLs you have, you can see that this last link is not valid, but the previous link, which is Z uh, Z Health, uh, HR, Z Health, this one, it actually has a value valid website. So yeah, you can see all the links are complete, but yeah, a lot of these startups, they don't have 
a valid website. So that's why when you click open URLs, this Chrome extension of clutter free will close all of your duplicate tabs to make sure that you have not, no duplicate tabs. That will save you some time. Now I'm not going to actually open up all these URLs, uh, but basically you just click open URLs and it'll open up the URLs. Let's take a look at another example. Uh, let's look at this website. This website is called uh, UC Plasma, which is another startups accelerator. So the first one's for Berkeley, the second one's for UC Davis. So let's scroll down to here and you're gonna see for featured alumni, there are these eight startups right here. So let's say you wanna open up all eight startups. In this case, since there are just eight startups, you technically could just click on each link individually and you would only have to click eight times to open up all eight links. However, if you wanna practice doing what we did earlier, you can just go to inspect by right clicking and then after inspecting, you're gonna target that element again. So we're looking at this tag called strong tag and it doesn't look right because we're trying to target a link and this is not a link. So you can scroll up the hierarchy. Uh, this is a background image, doesn't look right, but this link looks about appropriate. It has an A tag, which suggests it is a link and it has an href, which points to Facebook, which is the website. Now, you might want to target this link, but there's a problem, which is that this link by itself is too general. If you just target uh, uh, a, if you just target any sort of link without worrying about the class, without targeting the class, then you may as well be targeting every single link on the web page, including like the contact page and the about page and everything. And that might be a bit extra. So you want to be a lot more specific than that. All right. So what you want to do is you want to target this element called div class S grid selection cell content, right? And if you take a look here on the left, you're going to see that this particular element is div S grid selection cell content. And all of these startup links all have the format of div S grid selection, uh, selection cell content. So you're highlighting the correct element here. And what you do now is to open up the snippets uh, by doing command O and then just do get all hrefs. Once you have all the hrefs copied to your clipboard, uh, you can click open this Chrome extension, open multiple URLs. You want to clear everything you have inside of the text box and then just go paste and you have all eight links pasted, right? Now here it actually shows, I believe, seven links because one of these startups actually doesn't have a website. So that's why you don't see the link. Uh, but anyway, you just extract the URLs. It looks nice and pretty. Click open URLs and it opens up all the URLs. I'm not gonna actually do that here, but it works. Let's do one last example. Here is the LinkedIn page for Jeffrey, uh, Jeff Wiener, the LinkedIn CEO. So let's scroll down to the bottom where it says skills and endorsements, entrepreneurship. So clicking on entrepreneurship, you're gonna see that there are 123 people that endorsed the CEO for entrepreneurship. You can scroll through this, uh, all the links, right? All the way to the bottom. All right, so what, what are you here for? You're trying to find out the, you wanna get all the URLs of these people that endorsed Jeff Wiener for entrepreneurship, right? And so traditionally what you would do is you would click open every single link, but that takes a long time. So we're gonna do the faster way again by right clicking, going to inspect, and then we're gonna target the element. So wait a bit for the element to show up. So here we have Sammy uh, targeted in this span, but this span isn't what we want because there's no href here. There needs to be the href, which points to, uh, which points to a valid link. So what we want to target is uh, we want to go up a bit to till we get to this a tag that has a class of PV endorsement entity link ember view with an href that points to Sammy's LinkedIn page. So after we have this uh, element highlighted, we're going to open up the snippets again by doing command O and then typing uh, get all hrefs. After you have all the hrefs, just click on this Chrome extension, open multiple URLs, and paste all the links. 
So you're going to see here that we have the first person, which is Sammy, all the way to all the way to the last person, which is Aaron D uh, in our in our link in our links. So just click extract URLs from text and then we click open URLs to open up all the URLs. Now, here's a funny thing, which is that if you try this right now, you're going to see that it doesn't work because you don't have the uh, get you don't have the get all hrefs snippets. I'm going to show you how to get this guy. Okay? So to get the get all uh, hrefs, what you want to do is you want to go here into settings. Actually, no, you don't want to go into settings. You want to go into sources and then go to here where it says snippets and you want to create a new snippet and you can call it whatever name you want, but I named mine to be get all hrefs. And then inside of get all hrefs, I I added this JavaScript code right here. Uh, so we can talk through what this JavaScript code means. So let me paste the JavaScript and we're going to walk through it a bit. I'm going to walk through it quite quickly though. So first what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we have this dollar zero variable, which stands for the current highlighted element, right? So in this case earlier, we highlighted, uh, we highlighted Sammy to be our dollar zero. So this blue part that's highlighted right here, this whole entire block, that's dollar zero from dollar zero. We're going to get the, we're going to get the tag name and put it to lowercase. So the tag name is going to be a capital a, and when we lowercase it, it's going to become lowercase a. And we're going to get our classes as well. So for our dollar zero class list, that's just going to be all of the classes that this particular element has, which is PB endorsement entity Ember view. After getting all of the, the, the classes as well as the tag, we're going to use the links variable to hold our query selection of tags, tag plus classes. So what this does here in links is it's going to capture every single element that has this particular tag and this particular class. In this case, links will now hold 123 different elements corresponding to each of these people, right? It's going to hold a bunch of these a blocks. After that, we're going to do a for loop, which is going to loop through every single element uh, every single link element, it's going to loop through and it's going to see, say if that element has a href, right? So in this case, Sammy has an href. So if the element has an href, we're going to push it to an array R. A, but if the element do, doesn't have an href, we're going to look for the H first href that is, that is nested within its children. Okay. After processing every single element, uh, every single link element, we're going to have an array full of 120 elements or no, not 120 elements, 120 distinct uh, URLs, or hopefully they're distinct. But anyway, we're going to have 120 URLs inside of this array element. And this copy command is going to take the, that entire array and dunk it into our clipboard, right? So after this command, we're going to have our array inside of our clipboard. And then after that, we can just go into the multiple, uh, open up multiple URLs, uh, Chrome extension, and then we can just straight up just paste. All right. And so this is how we open up multiple URLs at a time using some fancy JavaScript. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoy.